Hi YouTube, welcome to my next video. Uh, yes, this isn't my garden. If you've watched any of my films, you really realised I haven't suddenly put a huge lake and a load of shops in my garden. I'm outside because I bought a new toy and I thought I'd show you. Now I did do all this once, I've done a lot of film, I did unboxing, I've been working in the shed and the reason I haven't uploaded for a couple of months is I lost an 8 terabyte tar partition on my NAS. The RAID card collapsed and I just haven't had a chance to get a new RAID card and rebuild the partition and get all my video back. As soon as I do, I'll upload some more films. But I'm trying to get as much done as I can now to get a film up, I suppose, and get some stuff out on YouTube. So what have I bought myself? A DJI Mavic Air. As you can see from the video on the screen, it's an amazing little thing. So the rest of this video I've made up from clips and bits that I was working on that were on my scratch disc. So it is a little bit jumpy. The unboxing's not brilliant. It's not all there. But I did manage to keep the film that I took down the beach using the active track. The active track is amazing. That's really why I bought the quadcopter because I can't build anything that does this. So here's the film. I know it's a bit of a mess but I hope you put up with it and I'll try and do some more in the next couple of weeks. Hi YouTube, internet, welcome to my next video. Uh, something a little bit different. I uh, bought myself a new toy and I thought as I got a new toy in the box I'd do an unboxing video. I bought myself a DJI Mavic Air Fly More Combo from DJI. Uh, I've flown quadcopters a lot before. I've been playing with quadcopters since they sort of first became available. But normally I've bought all separate parts, built them myself, put them separate together myself, uh, separate gimbals, separate GPS, and then made a flying platform. Which is great fun and it teaches you all the mechanics of it and all the electronics and how the IMU, the compass, the barometer, how it all works, how a gimbal works, but it takes a lot of time and there is nothing I could program that can give me the same features that come on these nowadays. In the past three years, quadcopters, drones have surpassed anything I can imagine. So let's get started. So the box is open. Okay. So the gel. So you get a nice carry pouch with it. That's quite nice actually. So let's keep going. So then another box. And I believe that's the quad. So put this to one side. Okay, here we go. So that that's just unbelievable. It's got two front facing cameras plus the three axis gimbal. It's got two lower uh, down facing cameras with two uh, distance sensors. And this model comes with two rear cameras as well. So that it's two for depth sensing, I, I guess. And it all folds up. That, that would fit in a pocket, no problem. That is an amazing piece of kit. I gotta say, I love technology. So you open the rear ones first and they twist down, oops, and out. That is so smooth. That is crazy. And then the front ones just pull open. And then we'll have a look at the gimbal. It's two clips and it slides out. So that's a 4K three axis gimbal camera. I, without the battery, there's no weight. It's tough, that is a crazy, crazy. So what's in the box? We got three batteries, a power block for the charger, a four battery charger. Uh, you get your remote control unit, which your phone plugs into. You get a power lead, you get a USB cable, spare props, a power bank adapter, some spare joysticks, some phone cables for different phone connections, iPhone and USB-C, a 
USB adapter, a load of manuals for each part of it, some prop guards and landing gear. The three things that came with the, uh, with the quadcopter, an ABS flight case and a 64 gig high speed SD card. Now this is pretty cool. It was a freebie with it, but it's pre-cut foam to fit three batteries, four batteries, sorry, your remote, your quad, any extras. Uh, it's a really nicely put together cut unit. So we'll have a look at that. ABS case, it's lockable. It's got a pressure release valve on it. It's not a bad little case, actually. I know they're not expensive, but with the foam already pre-cut, good freebie. SD cards available anywhere, but yeah, it's nice to get a free one, especially a high-speed one. So let's uh, see what it all looks like in the flight case, and then we'll go from there and give it a fly and see what happens. I printed this, so this fits in. So I, I printed it and sprayed it black. Uh, that's the tripod, single head mount, and that's a mobile phone holder so the whole thing this would be the phone if you were just using your phone that sits in there and you put your phone on it and it won't won't come out it, you know it's pretty good let me get my phone out yeah and that's how you fly because you don't need to see the RC that's uh, got no screen on it it's just got some buttons but it just makes it a little bit easier to fly because the phone's not hanging down here off the bottom it's quite a nice little place to fly this is a buttress that sticks out in a lake so you just start the app so you know the bottom right or somewhere on the screen I'll show you what the phone shows you first start it it tells you all the settings you got set the home point has been updated please check it on the map so tells you that home points been updated you should check it and you should remember that if you wander off or you walk with it and you don't change the home point or you say go home you could lose your drone or you could fly way back to where you started so to launch it both sticks down and to the outside positions take off and there we go take off home position looks right so drones up anyway I'm going to show you some of the built-in features so you hit the joystick button there and it gives you all the options you got. Quick shots are a few set shots that it does. Active track is track you or something. Smart capture is follow your hand. Tripod slows all the motions down so you can fly in enclosed tight spaces. Cinematic mode slows down the joysticks. Tap the fly is point on the map and it flies. Point of interest is circle something. So I'm going to go into quick shots. Helix. Highlight myself, hit go. This spirals up and away from you. Shouldn't get far enough to hit anything. But it'll always try and keep you in the center of the shot and that's what the 3X gimbal is good for with wind and movement. And it's a really nice place here to fly. You've got the bush over there. You've got this lovely uh, area and gives you quite a good shot. And when it's finished, it should fly back to its starting point. Yeah, it's just finished. Stopped recording. And now it's flying back in. I don't think I'm going to do all the quick shots. Uh, oh, rocket. I could do rocket. Then highlight myself. Then hit go. Three, two. This will bring it over me and shoot it up in the air to its maximum flight height. Like so and it'll just go straight up above you. I've already got set to 100 meters, 300 foot. Uh, and now it's coming back down. This is tracking and following now. So it doesn't matter where I walk, it will try and keep me in frame. So, but it'll go left. 
Right. Move it away from you. Bring it in. So I'm sorry for the jumpiness of the video, but I've used all the clips that I still had left from what I was trying to make. Uh, the next bit of film is me down the beach with a few cameras and using the quad in the active track. The active track is an outstanding feature on it. i got to say this quad, you know, it was ready to fly out of the box. It's performed brilliantly. It's a very stable platform and if you were looking for a, a drone, this would be excellent. It's an amazing piece of hardware. So enjoy the next bit of the film and I'll try and upload more as soon as I can.